Hey, morning everybody, it's David with Poe Run. And in today's episode, we are going to build our big rake wall. And I spent a bit of time yesterday doing some measurements and trying to get it all figured out um, based on our existing wall. So this I did with calculations, but of course, as I'm sure a lot of you know, that the moment you actually make the cuts and, and sheet it and what have you, there are some minor adjustments that get made just by default and I need to transfer those over to the new rake wall. <clears throat> and the reason being is because they have to match. Um, the only difference here between the two is that, yes, I'm gonna build it in two sections, but... So I'm gonna be building the thing in one giant piece, even though it's gonna be in two sections for the lift. Um, you can see that I chalked my, well, you may not be able to see that I actually chalked my lines for my angles. I did measurements off the top of the, uh, the existing wall, um, both at the peaks of the two walls, as well as at the ends, um, and then a couple of spots in the middle, and transferred that into my angle that I chalked on the ground here, which is what this is. <clears throat> if you remember from a previous video, of course, there's gonna be a, a, not really an extension, but this is basically gonna be, it's gotta be much longer, of course, but this is going to be the part that is going to span the gap between the top of this rake and the beam, again, that's gonna be sitting over here supporting everything. So I have one of these that is going to be unsupported uh, officially, but it will be just fine because it will have plenty of screws in it, etc. Um, so now that I have this uh, laid out and down, I can then figure out which studs I need and lay out for my cuts and go from there. So stick around. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate you guys doing so. And if you do like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and or subscribe, always useful. If you have any comments, put them down below. Happy to answer them. Um, I know that there's been a couple of uh, good questions about um, framing, etc. So keep it up, I do appreciate it because it also keeps me honest about what I'm doing. I think I got it all lined up. Fingers crossed.
All right, so back to the barn build. And as you can see, I have this half of the wall is all framed up. Uh, that piece of sheathing is not actually tacked into place yet. I just wanted to look at the factory corners and edges to see if I was square. I am having a little kind of difficulty down here because I'm off by about two thirds of an inch or so in quote unquote square, even though my far corner over here is square. Um, so I got to figure that out. But part of figuring it out is I'm going to build the other half of the wall. This has got to get framed in with some windows. So I have that all planned out. And uh, once I get that all done and I'm going to get everything tacked into place, then I will actually be able to confirm that the entire wall is square as opposed to just one part of it. Because I think that I'm not wrong. I think that somewhere my math is off just a hair or something's just out of whack just a hair. So, uh, but I don't think it's the wall. I think it's the building. Um, anyway, so that's where we're at. Stick around. Thanks for watching. Struggling trying to get it square um, and the reason I've been struggling trying to get it square is because sometimes some studs are square and other studs are not square and you can't just move everything over because then now it is out of square so uh, I'm just gonna do a little time-lapse here of the process that I go through or I'm going through to try and square everything up but I'm ending ending up having to square um, intermediate studs and then measuring off of the ones that I can get squared I don't know what's wrong. Um, I think it's probably partly the building being off just a little bit, but let's not forget, you know, I have a bottom plate here and my bottom plate needs the studs to be square off of them so that they will be plumb when I stand the whole thing up. Also, don't forget, I'm sheeting this whole thing. So whatever I sheet it, or whatever state it is when I sheet it is the way it's gonna be forever. Thus, if it's not plumb, it is literally going to be impossible to try and straighten out. As you can see, I have my window off, my three windows all framed. Uh, we went with a kind of a tighter look to it, and they're about uh, 24 inches, really about 22 inches off the deck. And then they go up to almost seven feet here at the top. So they're three by five windows. Uh, they are picture windows, they don't open, they're actually just designed to bring in some light, etc. And one last time, this is the view. Um, south and that is going to have uh, two big picture two big sliders over here plus it's going to have an opening out to the patio which is going to be a double french door here so uh, all in all there's going to be plenty of windows plenty of light and plenty of views to be had but i have to get it square first and i've now spent more than a day trying to figure out why it's not square um, and i don't work on this 24 hours a day by the way but anyway so stick around thanks for watching all right, well, here we are. I have it all squared and laid out. I have to cut from my rafters. 
my rafter here, which I'm going to pull this off, cut that off, nail that guy all up, um, double check it for square one last time after 30 times. And uh, that's it. So I did have to make a few adjustments, but I got I got it square. And if it's not square, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, anyway, that's it. And uh, uh, stick around and thanks for watching. well it's another successful day I have most of half the wall sheeted uh, actually I got more than half the wall sheeted because I also have all this area below my window done um, I gotta recheck this whole thing for square make sure my um, rafter is in the correct location because I thankfully double checked that before I started nailing it up and I was off so I fixed all that earlier today um anyway so that's basically it as you can see we have a wall we also have three window openings so that's very exciting you guys have a fantastic day thanks for watching i appreciate it if you like what you see give us a thumbs up and a subscribe put some comments down below is always nice too more comment content is coming um, it's been a lot of work doing the build and some other stuff has suffered, but we got to bring in wood. Uh, a lot of the garden tomatoes are being processed. Um, got more chickens coming for meat and that's it. So have a great day.